Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an animal habitat for freshwater wetlands. I'm going to take two fingers at the top and put a dot, two fingers at the bottom, put a dot, two fingers on the right, put a dot, two fingers, put a dot. Starting at the first dot, I'm going to draw a pretty good sized circle, come down to the second one, pretty good sized circle, over here draw a pretty good sized circle using the point as a starting point and another pretty good sized circle. I come back to the first one and I'm going to draw a wavy wavy line down connect on the left and a wavy wavy line down connect on the right. Come back to the left and draw a wavy wavy line across connect and on the bottom a wavy wavy line connect to the right. Starting right about midpoint on the left I'm going to draw a wavy line out, down, over, up, connect. I come back over to the left and I'm going to draw another wavy line out over and I'm going to leave it floating. Leave these lines floating. Now I come back to the left and I go straight line up, straight line down, straight line up, down, straight line up, down. Now all of a sudden my floating line is connected. I come on the right hand side and starting right about here I go straight line up, down, straight line up, down, straight line up, down, connect. I'm going to make that little floater a little bit closer. Now on the right hand side I'm going to draw a curve line once, curve line twice, curve line three, and on each one I'm going to do little curve line, little curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, connect, connect, connect. On each one of these I'm going to do curve line, curve line, connect. Using that middle line as my beginning point. Curve line, curve line, all the way up, connect. Okay, inside this section I'm just going to draw some wavy lines up and around any way I want. Okay. I come over here on the left and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And now I'm going to do an overlap, curve line, curve line, connect. Right in the center I draw a big curve line, dot, dot, little curve line, and little straight lines going across the top. Okay. Now I come to my first circle. And on my first circle in the center I'm going to draw a curve line up, over, down, come back to the left, draw a big curve line up, over, down. Right behind it I draw a curve line off the page, curve line down, off the page, one, two, one, two, and this is a duck, D-U-C. Okay, right here in the center I better write fresh water, F-R-E-S-H-W-A-T-E-R, -E so I don't forget what I'm doing. Now I come down to the bottom circle and I draw a big skinny curve line up, connect. On the right hand side I go curve line in, out, in, connect. On the right, curve line in, out in connect on the left. I'm just going to put little curved lines down the center and this is my dragonfly D-R-A-G-O-N-F-L-Y. 
Now I come over to my right hand circle. I draw another curved line up skinny mini. One straight line, two straight lines. Now I draw a curved line out, in, curved line out, in on the right, come back to the left, curved line down, up, curved line down, up. Now I'm just going to put some baby circles in each part and that is my butterfly. B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. Now my last circle, I come up to the top, inside I draw a curved line, little curved line out, in, out, in, curve line connect, come up to the top, curve line out, in, connect, on the bottom, little curve line, little curve line connect, and of course, happy face because they're in this beautiful fresh water, little curve lines. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is pretty much fun to color in because you can make it any color you want. This section of my freshwater wetlands, I'm going to do a light beige or brown. I'm going to come in with my blue, turquoise blue, and just mimic the lines I drew for my water. Could be a pond. And then go around that with my darker blue. Using my light green, I do my reeds. That's these little sections. And on my bigger bushes, I use a light green for all these little leaves right here. Right here and here. And my sun will be yellow. And my duck bill will be orange. And my dragonfly, I'm going to put purple and green. Make it kind of iridescent. My butterfly, purple, little dots. Now you can do these any colors you want. I'm using my imagination. Do green outside. And my fish, just to add a little bit of color, I'm doing pink. Now, to do the background of my sky, I'm going to just use my blue-green turquoise, do some straight lines. Don't draw through your drawing. Go all the way across. And then I'm going to use the same blue for my border or my frame all the way across. And I'm going to do a dark blue in between all the way around. You can use any colors you want. These are only a suggestion. And let me remind you that almost all of these animals I've already drawn on my playlist called Animals if you want to see what I've done. And um, that's it. Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my freshwater animal habitat all colored in. This one is really fun to do because you can do frogs and you can do um, other kind of waterfowl, like uh, birds, just all kinds of stuff. Okay, bye-bye.